Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. All right guys, so you know we have our Real Housewives of New Jersey after party tonight, which I'm so excited for because today is the first day that we are getting Teresa and Louie's wedding special. So that'll definitely be interesting. Catch us tonight on Up and Adam channel two. Then of course the full recap tomorrow with Ricky Cornish. However, we're not back to talk about that. We're back to talk about how fast Tom Sandoval is moving on, especially with this new TikToker caught in Texas there are photos. Oh, we're getting into it. And Ariana is making another big move. So before we jump in, do all the YouTube things, smash the like button, show some love, and let's do the damn thing. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you a site that I fell in love with. Well, it's a I guess it's a Twitter account, Bravo Babe. She literally is on top of all of it. So I'm going to show you that. But before I do, page six is so funny with how they post things. The woman seeing the worm with the mustache has been revealed. Tom Sandoval is reportedly dating Texas-based influencer Carly Hale, according to the U.S. Sun. Now, despite going through two breakups in recent months, the disgraced Vanderpump Rules star has been spotted with, I guess is it, Haley, Hallie, numerous times. Last week, a TikTok user shared a video of the rumored new couple looking cozy at a swanky hotel bar in Austin, Texas, just hours before his split from Raquel made headlines. Hmm. I mean, they make it sound like he looks so cozy. Although Sandoval tried to stay under the radar dressed in a hat and sunglasses, he was easily spotted by the Bravo fan who saw the pair hit it off from across the bar. Now, Bravo, babe. That's what I wanted to get into for a second because I found her Twitter on here and she's so fun. Well, one, she's great. She's on top of everything. So she posts it all like this one right here. For example, you guys know the call her daddy podcast. Ariana Maddox is now going to be on the call her daddy podcast. Like that's she's on top of all of this. Are you single? Hmm. That's the new girl. Tom Sandoval spotted at equinox in austin the night of the finale last week and the source wasn't aware of who he was and was in the gym and working out next to him source started up a casual conversation if he was new to austin etc and he told him no i'm visiting a girl i'm dating i'm from la all the crazy women drove me out here oh hmm. okay well there you have it so hold on let me stop sharing this for a second let's get back to the worm with the mustache so on top of that, soon after, Internet Sleuths shared photos of the pair allegedly working out together on Twitter. In the wake of the dating rumors, this new girl deactivated all of her social media accounts, and reps for Sandoval have not immediately responded to requests for comment. But, of course, like, right now, I don't know who would want to necessarily be tied to Tom Sandoval. Not saying he's, like, the world's worst person, but I feel like any press that's going to come from it is bad press. But if you have somebody who is famous on TikTok. And that's the way that, I mean, that's their claim to fame. This isn't a bash on any TikTokers, but yeah, it would make sense that she would jump into the mix and entertain the idea of dating somebody like Sandoval, because if that gets her on the show, while well, she's even more famous, including being on TikTok and well, no, it just makes her even more famous because who else really would want to tie themselves to a situation like this, especially when right now, especially in, especially and that's like the word of the day in the bravo sphere you're like literally the most hated person which is really awful but hold on hold on it keeps going sandoval and raquel who were caught having an affair during his nine-year relationship with ariana decided to go their separate ways while she's in treatment at a mental health facility that's also pretty interesting to me too it's like you went through the whole process of screwing up your entire life breaking up and cheating on having an affair with your girlfriend's best friend. Okay. You've been in this relationship for nine years. And then the girl that you cheated with has such a breakdown, allegedly from all of the social media backlash. So when the going gets tough, Tom Sandoval gets going like, that's how it feels. It feels like, Oh, okay. Well, she's struggling with mental health issues. So that's a little bit too much for me to handle right now. So instead I'm going to just kind of, scurry my way over here that's what it feels like 
Anyways, Raquel dipped out, an insider told Page Six, and that Sandoval is not the one for her. Yet despite his alleged new relationship, Ariana Maddox doesn't believe that Sandoval and Raquel are actually over. And the reason she doesn't believe that is because Raquel sent a letter to Tom and Ariana's house, and Ariana ended up receiving the letter, grabbing the letter, and putting the letter on the counter. She said that she didn't read it on Watch What Happens Live because that would be illegal, but she thinks that the relationship's not over. However, when we had Dave Neal on, I found it to be interesting because he's like, well, sometimes with programs like this, like if it's a two-step, four-step, seven-step, I mean, I don't know how many steps the programs are, but sometimes maybe more than that steps. I feel like he was on to something when he said, well, maybe she was writing this as closure. Maybe it was something more along the lines of like, hey, you know, I just wanted to say, like, I don't hate you for, you know, dragging me into all of this, or I don't know, like sharing the blame, but also kind of taking ownership for your actions. Because that's part of the program. So she probably is out of the picture. And this new girl it probably is in the picture. I don't think that he's just visiting Texas for nothing. And then I was looking up her social media accounts. And like I said, they are right now taken down. So that's kind of unfortunate. But what's not unfortunate is this. Hold on. I know I showed you a picture before on Bravo, babe, but I wanted to show you this one. Ariana Maddox is all smiles as she arrives to film a podcast in West Hollywood after moving out of the home that she shared with cheating ex Tom Sandoval. I'm so excited that she's going on Call Her Daddy. I mean, this girl is absolutely, absolutely killing it right now. And people are speculating, which I want to find out more about. People are speculating that Ariana did not move out of the house like I originally said she did because she had her boxes. But some people were saying that her moving up and not moving out, that she's not actually moving out of the house, that this was some sort of PR thing. I didn't necessarily think it would be a PR thing. But right now, at this moment in time, everybody is throwing money at Ariana Maddox in order to have her promote whatever they have going on, whether it's a product, a business, a service. We have her on Lifetime. I I, could, I feel like I could go down the list. Lifetime, Watch What Happens Live, The Today Show, The View, Call Her Daddy Podcast, Bloomingdale's, The White House Correspondence Dinner, Dancing with the Stars. I mean, holy shit. That's a lot. So guys, go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think about Tom's rumored new girlfriend. Hailing all the way from, oh, well, she spells her name like Hale, kind of. Hailing all the way from Texas and Tom having to go out of LA in order to find love. I mean, okay, that's a little bit of a reach, but go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think. And more importantly, before you go, don't forget tonight, our Real Housewife of New Jersey after party, because it is Teresa's wedding special. We'll be doing that on Up and Adam channel too. And then of course, you guys know that we will be back for our Vanderpump Rules after party tomorrow night. Oh, and Jason has Anchor Watch tonight with Josh. So that'll be fun. Love you guys. Comment below and we'll see you so very soon.